ReadyShipper is the industry leader in CSV file and ODBC import. Our flexible order mapping wizard allows ReadyShipper to work with almost any shopping cart, order management system, accounting software, or payment processor. Basically, if you can export a CSV file from your daily order system, then you should be able to import it into ReadyShipper. The best part, ReadyShipper 7 has made this process easier than ever with now supporting drag and drop import. Here's an example. Simply drag your CSV file into ReadyShipper and it automatically imports it in. Now I'm going to show you how you can do the same thing with your CSV file. First, we'll start by deleting these orders so that we can re-import them in after we set up the order mapping wizard. Now to create a map for a new CSV file, start by going up to import and clicking on new map. You'll see the welcome to the order mapping wizard and it will tell you that you're going to need to first save your CSV file to your desktop. Click continue and then you're going to need to click browse and find the file that you're looking to create a map for. You can see here it says status ready and that it found 46 columns in the CSV file. We're now ready to create the map. Basically we're going to tell ReadyShipper where each column in your CSV file is supposed to go. Click continue to get to the first page. Now the only required field in ReadyShipper is the primary ID. That's a unique identifier for each individual order or shipment that gets imported in. Generally that's going to relate to your order number. So we'll open up the drop down under your source header and we'll put invoice number into the primary ID. Now in this first order screen you will see a number of fields and they all are optional fields. They're going to cover a lot of uh, key categories though but as you go down sometimes you'll have information to put in these fields sometimes you won't. Most people will have a field in their CSV file that indicates what shipping method they want to use, maybe carrier method. You're going to want to use ship type generally for that field and that will allow you to take advantage of features like our ship type converter. So here I'll go down and I'll find the ship type field right here. If you also have a field that indicates the carrier, then you'll use the ship via drop down to bring that in. You'll see things like build ship costs, build tax, maybe you have a residential indicator to say whether it's a residential or commercial shipment. As you go down, you'll see you can also import in things like the payment method or a, a custom message from that customer. But again, most of these are um, optional and you may not have information for all these fields. So there's no need to worry. You can simply move on to the next category if you think you've covered all the key fields on this particular section. Under the shipping address, you will obviously want to make sure that you fill in all this information. If you're going to create shipping labels, you're going to need to make sure you get those shipping address uh, imports incorrectly. So here you'll go down the list and you, you'll now direct your ship to company into the company field in Ready Shipper. And as I go down the list here, you'll see that each time I open up this drop down under your source header, it's displaying all my available columns in my CSV file. And the drop down is going to look the same every time you open it up. And you're just selecting what's supposed to go into that field in Ready Shipper. So here you can see I've selected ship first name to go into the first name field in Ready Shipper. We'll do the same thing for ship last name. And we'll go down the list here and find each of the corresponding columns in my CSV file. Again, making sure that I get all the appropriate fields for my address mapped in. So I got ship to state here, then ship to zip code, ship to phone number, ship to country, and lastly, the email address so that I can make sure my emails are sent out, customers are notified of their tracking information. Click continue once you've filled in all those fields. You will see the billing address come, come up. Now again, this is not required to have your billing address. Many CSV files will just purely have a shipping address. Many times the billing and shipping will be the same. So you do not need to fill out the billing address information, but if you do have separate columns for billing address, then you can certainly map those in as well. Click continue and now we're on the line item section. Now this is where you're going to import in your product details. 
This can be especially useful if you're looking to take advantage of one of our all-in-one forms, our, our exclusive ready labels, so that you can do a packing list and shipping label together. This is also required if you're going to do international shipping in Ready Shipper, as internationals with all the carriers do require product details. So again, here we can see that if you've got an SKU or part number, you can direct that in to the part number field. You're also going to want to have a quantity for those items. So again, I can open up and I can find the quantity field here. I can find my unit weights for my items. And I can find my unit price, which again is required for your international shipments. And then finally, I'm going to want to bring in my description field. And lastly here, we got description. Okay. So now I've mapped in all the key product details. Again, if you have separate columns for up to 25 products in your uh, 25 different items in your order, you can map all those in. You'll see those are supported all the way down to 25 here. If you don't, you just have one section, that's fine as well. Click continue, and then you'll be on the custom fields section. So if you have additional information, customer notes, special instructions, or different things that you'd like to sort by in the main screen of Ready Shipper, you can import those into the custom fields. You can also import in reference one and reference two fields, which will be displayed at the bottom of the four by six labels, and even custom terms and conditions if you have those in your CSV file as well. If you don't, you can simply leave those as don't import and click continue through to the last screen. Now, if you are importing in dates, you're going to want to make sure that your date format matches up. If you're importing in weights, you'll want to make sure you choose the right weight units. And then you're simply going to give your map a name. Once you've done that, click finish and you're now ready to start importing. Simply select the map that you've just created and then you can click import to go find the file that you'd like to import in. Again, I select the test file right here and those same two orders import in again as well as of course as we um, just showed at the beginning of this video you also have the option to simply drag and drop that file in again I can just go select it drag it right into the main section of the shipping screen here and just like that it imports in as well so as you can see CSV file gives you an extreme amount of flexibility to import your orders in direct those different columns in your CSV file or ODBC table to the appropriate fields in Ready Shipper. And once you've created that map, it's then available for use on all imports after that so that you can very easily import all your orders in and batch from a CSV file and eliminate the need for copying and pasting or doing your shipping labels one by one anymore. And again, this is going to give Ready Shipper the flexibility to work with almost any systems out there today. Get started with your own free trial and cut your shipping time in half with Ready Shipper today.